Hi everybody, what's going on guys? Um, today I'm going to start recording um, part 2 or video 2 from the how to build your own DHCP request or DHCP client tool in Python. So first of all I'd like to apologize for my late. I know it's been a long time we haven't talked about this, we haven't spoken about this particular topic, this, uh, this interested, uh, interesting topic. So let's get started. Um, it's a problem of time guys. Anyway, so let's vim DHCP re request. So today I'm going to show you how to generate this particular packet, this D a DHCP discover locating for a DHCP server on the network. And um, after sending this particular packet, DHCP discover, we must receive a DHCP offer from the um, from a DHCP uh, DHCP server that on the network. Okay. So let's go ahead and explain this particular program uh, line by line. So first of all, this is the ship band. There's no need to talk about this. So we're we are importing first the socket module, the bin ASCII, and this particular modules. So let's start from here. So let's go ahead and um, from skippy.all import everything. I am sorry. So let's execute this particular instruction. And as you can see here, it ended up with this particular role hardware ADDR. So how this function actually works. So the get if raw hardware ADDR is a function that takes one parameter which is um, nothing but the interface name. So if we kind of go ahead and open up a new terminal and run uh, execute the command if config followed by the interface name we have um, the hardware ADDR here. Okay. So let's go ahead and guys do store this particular value on a Mac variable and let's mark dot replace replace the column by nothing and as you can see here this uh, particular value or instruction ended up with this particular MAC address without column my MAC address without column and if we go more further and decode the value in hex and as you can see the value um, the we ended up with the same output um, that Skeppy uh, returned okay so Actually, that's how you can create your own function, and you may you may be wondering about how can we get this particular MAC address to in to um to in, to execute this particular um, instruction against it. So there is a way um, to do so. You can from sub process import um, let's say check outputs outputs, and let's check outputs. And let's go ahead and execute um, if config hack one, and we can store this on a variable output. And output guys is um, dot split. Let's say zero one two three four five six. Okay, zero one two three four dot split four. As you can see here, this particular we have used sub process the, ch the check output commands, and we have executed this particular command, and we split it using um, sp white spaces, and we get the fourth element of this particular um, tuple. Okay, so that's how can you go ahead and generate. So let's go ahead and um, do a replace, replay, replace column by nothing dot decode hex. And as you can see here, the same output. Okay. So let's proceed our work. So first of all here, um, let's, let's go ahead and copy this. And as you can see here, I defined a class I define the class with um, the, the name of the class is DHCP Discover. I define a constructor function, and the constructor in Python is nothing but a function that allows us to um, instantiate objects on the, within from within this class. And these these objects can be called um, from within this class uh, from other functions. Okay, within this class, of course. Okay, and I define some um, particular this particular objects, the transaction ID as well as the Mac in bytes. So let's talk a little bit, let's talk, let's um, jump this particular line, let's leave it um, 
when we will talk about this or let's this is a transaction ID how to encode it in a network byte order let's go ahead and execute this particular value so before um, go ahead and execute this particular instruction let's go ahead and jump to our Chrome browser and as you can see here this is how a DHCP d d packet looks like so first of all we have the opcode guys and the opcode is nothing but a um, a, a one byte uh, long field it can be it could be one or two so if one this is a B DHCP request if two this is a boot reply okay and we have the hardware type the hardware type guys is um, a we well as long as we're using Ethernet this this field must be one as you can see here so we have here the opcode is one the hardware is one the hardware length or the hardware type is one which is ethernet the hardware addr length is six which is the length of the uh, mac address the hub count is stands for the dhcp relay agents so the hub count guys if you're using a dhcp relay agents you must um enable this value by passing the value one you, this value this fields must be set um so you have to put the value one in uh, in this field okay and Finally, we reach our. We reach it. We have reached our um, transaction ID, and the transaction ID, as you can see, it is a 32-bit um, random value um, chosen by the client. And this particular value um, makes the server be sure that it's communicating with the appropriate client, and vice versa. Okay, so let's go ahead and generate a 32-bit uh, value. So first of all, from random import random and execute this particular value so the XID is nothing but 32 bit and as you can see here I've passed in this particular hexadecimal value which is 32 bit so 1 by 2 3 4 and 4 by is 32 bit okay so in order to let's um, let's import the struct module in order to uh, enable uh, in, in order to um, convert this particular value into the network byte order we are you are going to use the struct module so struct dot pack um, the network byte order is an exclamation mark and by the way the exclamation mark is or the network byte order guys by default is big Indian okay so let's do an L and L uh, stands for four bytes H stands for two and B stands for one so we are dealing with a four byte value so XID so as you can see here this is the value um, so this is what I've done here okay and remember guys the network byte order is big Indian okay so if we go ahead and change this particular by big Indian the same output okay we end up with the same output so this is how to generate a 32-bit um, value and we create we instantiated the self.mac in bytes um, uh, objects and give it the hardware calculated above here our hardware raw hardware DDR um, so now if we want to call this particular value we need to inside this class we need to call the self dot mac in bytes okay so and let's proceed with uh, this so the number of seconds must be set to zero this is the elapsed time in seconds since the client began um, an address acquisition or a renewal process so this is must be set to zero or what well, to zero as you can see here guys this is two bytes remember not one byte and we have finally the flag B not finally actually we have the flag um, the flags here which is 16 bit and as you can see here the first bit is um, a here is a broadcast flag okay if if you will if this value contains one if this field uh, is set to one that means that you are enabling a, the broadcast option if not it's the broadcast option is not enabled and what is the broadcast you have to uh, to read this particular RFC um, 1542 I don't have internet connection for the time being so you can go ahead and read it and this is the this is um, a mirror on my website on my local website so you can visit this particular link okay and guys simply um, if you if you enable this particular value and as you can see here I cleared it out 
as zeros and if you want to enable it you have to do the following so let's convert a value into binary and the value is x8000 and as you can see here we have 16 bit the first bit is 1 okay so in order to um, enable this if you enable this particular uh, flag um, actually you are allowing the client to be able to receive broadcast ADDR because honestly um, the reply uh, or the the boot the DHCP relay agents and the boot P servers try to uh, reply to clients with a TCP IP configuration um, using a unicast address okay and if um, you are setting this to zero that means that um, you are allowing clients to receive unicast um, messages so we have the client IP DDR this is um, the clients requesting the address and your IP DDR is this is when you want to renew all your to request um, a an already requested IP address and the server IP, the IP address is the, the DHCP server and the gateway IP address is the the gateway IP address this is the relay agent IP address so this must be set to zero because we are not using a relay agent and the client hardware ADDR this is a 16 bit remember guys and how to do that actually 16 bit so what we need to do guys is to so remember we have our hardware and if we do a LAN against hardware plus um, plus um, let's say backslash x00 multiplied uh, multiplied by 10 we got 16 bytes and if we go ahead and print the print this the output as you can see here this field must be uh, look like this okay so uh, six bytes of the MAC DDR followed by padding. So as you can see here, we have our padding as well as the MAC DDR. So this is 16 bit. And next we have the server host name, which is the same thing. This is 64 uh, bytes and 128 bytes of the boot P file. This all these must be set to all zeros, guys. So I'm gonna pause the video. Um, um I'm gonna split this video into two videos two parts guys just because the video is getting longer so see you next video assalamu alaikum